Hello all and welcome to tonight's tour portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, donate the new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, committed us and grossed us with the words of Torah. Please do donate only between the words of your Torah and our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for our sake, fulfilling your desire. Blessed do you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed do you, Adonai, the new king of the universe. Who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Donai, give her the Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. May Donai make his presence who none you may be kind to you. May Donai bless so favor on you and grant you peace. Sorry uh, about the stuffy nose. I have some kind of a bug. Today's read is 2 Kings 4 42 through 527. A man came from Baal. Shalisha, bringing the man of Elohim bread of the first fruits, twenty loaves of barley and fresh ears of the grain in his sack. And Elisha said, Give to the men that they may eat. But his servant said, How can I set this before a hundred men? So he repeated, Give them to the men that they may eat. For thus says Yahweh, They shall eat and have some left. So he set it before them. And they ate and had some left according to the word of Yahweh. Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master in high favor. Because of him, Yahweh had given victory to Syria. He was a mighty man, a valor, but he was a leper. Now the Syrians on one of their raids had carried off a little girl from the land of Israel. And she worked in the service of Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, Would that my lord... Sorry. Would that my lord were with the prophet who, were, who is in Samaria. He would cure him of leprosy. So Naaman went in and told his lord. Thus and so spoke the girl from the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go now, and I'll send a letter to the king of Israel. So he went, taking with him two, ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, and ten changes of clothing. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, which read, When this letter reaches you, know that I have sent to you Naaman my servant, and that you may cure him of his leprosy. And when the king of Israel read the letter, he tore his clothes and said, I am, am I Elohim to kill and to make alive, that this man sends word to me to cure a man of his leprosy? Only consider and see how he is seeking a quarrel with me. But when Elisha, the men of Elohim, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes, he sent, to the, he sent to the king, saying, Why have you torn your clothes? Let him come now to me, that he may know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stood at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored, and you shall be clean. But Naaman was angry and went away, saying, Behold, I thought that he would... Surely come out to me and stand and call upon the name of Yahweh's Elohim, and wave his hands over the place and cure the leper. Are not Abana and Farper, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters in Israel? How could I wash in them and be clean? So he turned away and went he turned and went away in rage. But his servants came near and said to him, My father, it is a great word the prophets has spoken to you. Will you not do it? Has he actually said to you, wash and be clean? So he went down and dipped himself seven times in the Jordan according to the word of the man of Elohim, and his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child. He was so clean. Sorry, and he was clean. Then he returned to the man of Elohim, he and all his company, and said to them, Sorry, and he came and stood before him, and he said, Behold, I know that there is no Elohim in all the earth but in Israel, so accept now a pre present from your servant. But he said, As Yahweh lives before whom I stand, I will receive none. And he urged him to take to take it, but he refused. Then Naaman said, If not, please let there be given to your servant two mule 
loads of earth. For from now on your servants will not offer burnt offerings or sacrifices to any god but Yahweh. In this manner may Yahweh pardon your servant when my master goes into the house of Ryman to worship there, leaning on my arm, and I bow myself to the house of Ryman. When I bow myself in the house of Ryman, Yahweh pardon your servant in this manner. He said to him, Go in peace. But when Naaman had gone from him a short distance, Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of Elohim, said, See, my master has spared this Naaman, the Syrian, and not accepting from his hand what he was brought. As Yahweh lives, I will run after him and get something from him. So Gehazi followed Naaman, and when Naaman saw someone running after him, he got down from the chariot and met him and said, Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master has sent me to say, There have just now come to me from the hill country of Ephraim two young men of the sons of the, sons of the prophets. Please give them a talent of silver and two changes of clothing. And Naaman said, Be pleased to accept two talents. And he urged him and tied up two talents of silver and two bags with two changes of clothing and laid them on, his, on two of his servants and they carried them before Gehazi. And when he came to the hill, he took them from their hand and put them in the house. And he sent them in away, and they departed. He went in and stood before his master, and Elijah said to him, Where have you been, Gehazi? And he said, Your servant went nowhere. But he said to him, Did not my heart go when the men turned from his chariot to meet you? Was it a time to accept money or garments, olive orchards or vineyards, sheep and ox? sheep and oxen, male servants and female servants, therefore the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and to your descendants forever. So he went out from his presence a leper like snow. <sighs> Blessed art thou, Adonai, who the king of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth to set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, Give the Torah, Bruket thou, Adonai, and the human lach kolom. Ashen or tan lunu, tarne me vaishilom, the tub. Better can you brook it out on a teen ha Torah.